Good afternoon, you're watching KTN News. Thank you for staying with us. Allow me to interrupt the normal programming to bring you live event that's currently happening. We do know that the Council of Governors um, is holding its election today. That is happening at the Hilton Hotel here in Nairobi. I believe Peter Munya, the outgoing chair, is currently making an address. Let's listen. In. Kindly me, allow me to highlight proof that indeed the revolution is working. Father, allow me to appraise you on behalf of the 47 county governments on the work we have done thus far. Agreed. I am truly honored to present to you a report card of the strides we have made in the last four years we have had devolution. With the advent of devolution, the performance of the agricultural sector witnessed remarkable growth. As it has written in the Economic Survey 2017, the performance of major crops since the inception of devolution is as follows. Tea production, 2,119,200 tons. Coffee production, 226,400 tons. Maize production, 2.1 oh, million bucks. Wheat production, that 8.1 million bucks. Sugar production that 3 million 167 and 27 tons. Rice production 484 959 tons. Recorded milk production 2.824 billion liters. Agricultural production 1 million 139 600 tons. Since 2012, the number of selected livestock slaughtered was as follows: cattle and calves. 9,222, 9,222,900 ants, sheep and goats at 2,928, 500 ants, pigs, 1,353,400 ants. Initiative by county government to upscale farm technology and mechanized services has greatly reduced the burden and drudgery of agricultural work. The purchase of 344 tractors, establishment and rehabilitation of 34 agricultural mechanization centers and 32 agricultural training centers, construction and maintenance of 332 milk coolers, purchase and distribution of 1,712 1, greenhouses, underscore some of the major uh, achievements, uh, technological achievements. Uh, in up, upscaling agriculture by counties. Of course, we continue facing a lot of uh, challenges in agriculture, especially on of our reliance on um, rain fed agriculture and the poor coordination between county governments and the national governments. Whereas the national government is supposed to be in charge of the overall vision on how we drive agriculture and the research and long-term planning, I have, we have not seen very good coordination in terms of how we can drive a national agenda and a national vision in agriculture.